Queensland's construction industry is being offered another 18 months to prepare for the implementation of a new national construction code. The announcement follows criticism from industry and the state opposition over a lack of preparedness to carry out the changes. Lucy Gray has this report. Queensland builders will be given until March 2025 to implement the new National Construction Code under a proposal being put forward by the state government. Until today, industry had been given until October 1 to implement new rules designed to make new homes more energy efficient and accessible. These included requiring builders to increase energy efficiency ratings to seven stars from six, widen minimum corridor and door widths and install step-free showers. About making sure that households uh, can save money on their energy bills. Uh, energy efficient homes to make sure that uh, older Queenslanders, older Australians uh, don't have to spend massive amounts of money unnecessarily uh, as they age just to be able to stay uh, in their home. But at a meeting called between the state government and the industry stakeholders late Tuesday afternoon, the rollout and exact provisions were put back up for discussion. We'll continue to work in good faith with industry around these transitional provisions and exemptions to make sure that we get these reforms uh, right. The move follows widespread criticism over the original deadline for rolling out the new code. Master Builders Association Queensland had warned it wouldn't be possible as the required technology and guidelines are yet to be developed. We've not been able to get what we believe are sensible solutions or acceptable solutions to some of the technical details, some of the technical problems that are all about how you build home that so that it complies with the National Construction Code. Concerns had also been raised about the flow on effects to construction costs on new homes, which have already increased by more than 40 per cent in Brisbane in the three years to 2023. We are confident that it's $20,000 for the accessibility and the energy efficiency, but we've got examples where it's much more, adding costs at a time when uh, it, it should not be done. Their requests are not unreasonable. So please, Minister, listen to what they are asking. They are the experts. But the state government denies pressure from industry and their political opponents is behind the delay. And so uh, today has just been prompted by getting closer and closer to the date. Energy efficiency standards to be implemented under the code are slated to save households $185 each year on their energy bill.